This is Josh Friedman, the nomadic journalist on a rooftop overlooking the Mediterranean Sea and I believe Spain off in the distance as well. I am in Tangier, Morocco in the Medina, the old town above one of the two ports here in Tangier and this is where people bounce back and forth between Europe and Africa on the ferry. We are very close to Spain and it's kind of a it's a little bit of a foggy day. It's not not terribly clear at the moment, but I can see it off in the background. You can't from this picture. Nonetheless, being here in Morocco and having spent a couple weeks here over the past month or a little more than that and really enjoying the time, I've been thinking about discussing how Morocco might serve or not serve so well, perhaps, as a base for a nomadic journalist. And I might start doing a little bit of a series here with discussing how different places I spend time in over the course of my travels might work or not work for nomadic journalists. And why not start off with Morocco and the country as a whole, not just Tangier, but Tangier is a very interesting and historically strategic location as it's a port city and it is just across the small strait from that's a separate I believe the Strait of Gibraltar actually is that is separating it from the continent of Europe as well as the country of Spain and I guess Gibraltar and the UK are not too far away either anyhow and I'll also give you a little bit of a picture of this lovely Medina backdrop that I've got which I really happen to like. Well I came to Morocco on what I've been referring to as a cheap winter getaway. Actually this is my second cheap winter getaway in Morocco over the past month plus and it has been so lovely for me to soak in the sun here while the temperatures are below zero Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit in much of Europe at the moment, including my home base of Sofia, Bulgaria. It hasn't been warm at all hours of the day. It gets cool, chilly in the night and in the morning, especially in some of these riads or hostels or hotels in Morocco. But nonetheless, it's been very nice during the days. It tends to be about 15 to 20 degrees Celsius or about 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Usually sunny in the afternoon, usually clear skies, and there are all these terraces, some of which have working Wi-Fi, some of which do not. This terrace that I'm on, it's kind of in between. They, they have Wi-Fi, but it's not the greatest, but nonetheless, it is a location where I can do some work with an incredible view and soak in some sun, which would probably be fairly ideal if the Wi-Fi works for a digital nomad, but I'm not exactly a digital nomad, I'm a nomadic journalist. So how would Morocco serve as a base for a nomadic journalist? Well, despite Tangier, and for that matter Morocco, being quite strategically located as it's, it straddles the both the Mediterranean and the Atlantic Ocean and it is so close to Europe. I would say that at the moment there there aren't such major events going on in Morocco that would make it a in it that would make Morocco in itself a location to go cover a lot of news. Morocco has come up in my reportings particularly on the refugee crisis although much of that action or all of that action for that matter was in Europe not in Morocco as I was running into many Moroccans on the refugee trails which I discussed last month during a live stream that I did from a quite similar location from a rooftop in Casablanca where I was also overlooking a port but along the Atlantic not along the Mediterranean but nonetheless, so if I were to see myself based here 
as a nomadic journalist, I probably wouldn't be looking out so much for the, the news happening in Morocco. I might look elsewhere in Africa, but I would certainly look to Europe. So Morocco, as I've been making use of, has cheap flights back and forth to, to and from Europe, particularly Spain, but other countries as well. I'm bouncing back and forth between here and Barcelona on cheap Ryanair flights, and certainly as of late, there, there has been news happening in Barcelona and coming out of Barcelona as well as Catalonia as a whole. In fact, I'm going to bounce back there in just a few days and they've got an election coming up at the end of the month and that's an opportunity for me to do some reporting. So if you were based as a nomadic journalist in Morocco, you could certainly do a lot of reporting from Spain. If you're based, if you're based here, well, Spain is right there. So if you're based in Tangier, it's just a boat trip, but elsewhere in the country, it's just a short flight. Uh, likewise, you can reach other places in Europe. I, I last month flew in and out of Agadir toward more to the south in Morocco, and those flights were coming to and from Budapest, Hungary. So there are routes that are heading to central Europe, not just to Western Europe here in Morocco. Lots of cheap flights and life here, the cost of living is very affordable. I haven't looked into any long-term rentals. I've mostly been staying in these riads, which are these interesting traditional Moroccan kind of uh, apartment buildings where they have a courtyard down at the bottom floor and an open air setting in that courtyard with some rooftop terrace typically above and a fountain down in the courtyard and the rooms in the building positioned around the courtyard and and they're very nice they can be a little chilly in the winter and from what i hear quite warm or dare i say hot in the summer but i think you could probably live out of one of those for a month or a few months at a time or maybe even find a long-term rental and they'd be quite affordable and i'm finding tourist stuff aside the, the daily costs of living are quite cheap here food food can be very inexpensive i'm finding some very hearty meals for five euros or less maybe as little as three euros in some cases you will have to get used to navigating the the life and the people and the hustlers and everyone trying to sell you stuff here but if you're settled down for a while i'm sure you would get quite used to it so i wouldn't suggest that morocco is an ideal location to set up shop or use as a base as a nomadic journalist but it is certainly something that you could consider the cost of as a review the cost of living here is very low you are very close to europe europe is accessible both by boat and by cheap flights so you could definitely do a lot of reporting in europe you could venture off elsewhere in the north of africa where there has been a lot of action in recent years that might not be so safe <laughs> Probably Libya would be a place to to watch yourself in, but there's certainly news still coming out of Libya, and I'm sure there will be plenty in the whole plenty of news in the whole north of Africa for many years to come. So it's an interesting location. Morocco is definitely on the the path well traveled among tourists, but I don't know many journalists who are using Morocco as a base, but it it's something to consider, particularly in the winter months, as I've here's here's a glimpse of this sun that will soon be setting behind me. Even on a bit of a foggy day here, I get to take in sun, get some vitamin D, and it's so nice and I love it. So I could certainly see myself spending more time here in future winters, maybe even in fall or spring, maybe late fall or early spring. 
the weather is pretty ideal for the cooler months of the year and the culture here can be pretty vibrant. Some people describe it as exotic. Uh, it's definitely different than Europe, albeit Tangier, where I am right now, is quite a multicultural city. Maybe you could even argue the same about Casablanca, although not so much nowadays, but there is definitely European influence in Morocco. If you speak French, that goes a long, long way. So if, if you are a Francophone journalist, then it, it would certainly be worth considering setting up shop here as you would have a huge advantage with your language skills and it would be much cheaper than living in France or Belgium or Montreal or Quebec or wherever you're based. So those are some things to consider about Morocco, not just from the perspective of a tourist, but from the perspective of a nomadic journalist. It might make sense to set up here, to set up a base here for some period of time. It might not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed a glance at the port, the Mediterranean, the lovely Medina. I'm certainly enjoying my time here in Tangier, although it seems to be short-lived. I'm going to have to take a night train on out of here back down into the heart of Morocco tonight. And I'm going to wrap that up. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and a comment below. If you did not enjoy it, please tell me what you did not like about it. And Feel free to leave a dislike and comment explaining what you would like me to talk about in the future. And likewise, if you do want to hear more of these little reports or evaluations of different destinations as possible nomadic journalism bases, then let me know and I would love to provide you some more insight into that in the future. For now, au revoir from Tangier, Morocco, and the Mediterranean. Thank you for listening and goodbye.